Hey guys, it's Megan and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm so excited to say that my pantry is pretty much legit organized. It feels so good and I am excited to be able to share with you what I did and hopefully maybe give you some ideas. I know everybody's pantries are different. We have different things we keep in our pantries, the size, the shape, and all that. Hopefully though, my ideas will give you some inspiration and everything that I used is all from the Dollar Tree which you gotta love that. If you love organization videos, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, and if you are new, I would love for you to consider subscribing. Okay, let's jump into my pantry. My pantry is right here, so I'm gonna take you back a few days, because this has been a little bit of a process for me, but I'm gonna take you back a few days. When I got started on this, I already had a little bit of organization going on, but I will tell you what, it was not clean. So that is another thing that we are doing, is cleaning out the pantry and actually deep cleaning, because it was almost horrifying to see how disgusting it really was in there underneath everything. Up here it is just, I barely can reach up here. So I've got just a load of a mess up here. This, I cleaned out a little bit. A lot. Can you not bark at me? Thank you. Uh -uh. Sit down. Sit, that's a good boy, be quiet. This area, I started to clean out a little while ago and then I just kind of stopped. This, again, you can see like the organization kind of began in here as well, but I am about to take everything out and kind of just start over. So this is what we're working with, here we go. I also highly recommend that if you are about to clean out your pantry or anything in your kitchen, clean off the counters so that you have space to take everything out and organize it. And it'll make you feel better that everything's already cleaned off. Okay, here comes the fun, taking everything out of this pantry. And there was a lot of stuff in there. kitchen for a second. I can't reach the back of this dang pantry. Thank you. you. You're a tall person? Totally. What do you need? I can reach anything. Can you? Yeah. I need, that. yeah, that. All, all the stuff back there. I'm gonna need this little baby stuff. Oh, you can barely reach that too! <laughs> <laughs> what? This thing's I, thank you, I know. All right, I need you to also, since you're so tall, can you spray up there? Thank you. <laughs> that, you barely sprayed anything. I need to spray too much more. I have, a lot of people couldn't reach the sidewall. <laughs> me, I can't. Very tall. The sidewall too. People need a much bigger stool ladder, not me. I just need a Winnie the Pooh one. <laughs> oh, Bob, I can't reach the top shelf. Let the taking out of all the stuff continue. And I'm so glad that I actually had all my counters cleaned off. There was nothing sticky on them and gave me, you know, enough space to be able to lay everything from my pantry out so I can see everything. And if you haven't decluttered your pantry recently, this is the perfect time to be able to look at everything you have and see what do you guys really eat? Are there any expired foods? Get that all out of the way so that you can start with a fresh organized pantry with things that you know you're going to eat and use.
Once I took everything out, I was absolutely disgusted with how dirty these little drawers actually are. And the little shelf lining was disgusting as well. So I took the shelf liners out and I actually stuck those in the washing machine. Those shelf liners had some sticky stuff on it. So the washing machine got them all nice and clean and then I made sure to just really give these drawers a good cleaning. So this is when it can get a little bit overwhelming. I actually decluttered the pantry a little bit ago at the beginning of the year. So most of the stuff in here is things that we actually use, are things that we actually use, but I'm still gonna go through everything and then kind of organize it all together. Headphones in, listen to some motivation. So once everything was out on the counters, I just tried to group like items together so I could kind of get an idea of how I wanted to organize it going back in. I knew where I wanted a few things, but I wasn't exactly sure how I wanted to put it all in there. Once I had everything kind of grouped together how I wanted it, then I played with the bin arrangement in the pantry and then just went from there. Like I said earlier, everyone's pantries and the food that they have are totally different. So these are just the ways that I did it and hopefully it'll just give you some ideas or inspiration for how you might want to do yours. I knew the very top was not going to be anything food related. It was just going to be like the extra utensils and paper plates and stuff. So I went ahead and put those up there first just to get them all off of the counter. I had been wanting to put my flour and brown sugar and all of that in these little jars from Dollar Tree and I'm so glad I finally did because I just think it makes it look so much prettier. So I added some Dollar Tree labels to it because again, I think it makes it look pretty and it makes you feel good when you open your pantry and you see it like organized and aesthetically pleasing. I did the same thing with some of my like vegetable oils and red wine vinegar and things like that. I don't think it's actually necessary, but it does make it look pretty. Okay, time for the reveal. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, oh. Okay, let's start with up here. So what I did up here was I have things that I don't use very often or that I can easily reach by just like standing up on my toes. I mentioned that I love using these Dollar Tree napkin holders to hold paper plates. And this is exactly how I do it. I just put them next to each other. I've been doing it this way for a while and it's really worked great. I just wanted to get more of them. I can't reach back there very easily. So I wanted to be able to get to these easily. All the way in the back, I have some plastic plastic utensils and some little um, things that I use if we're having parties or anything that I can write on there what the different foods are. And then in this little basket I have napkins that are from different seasons and a few plastic cups that I don't need to be able to access very often. Up here I just use one of the Dollar Tree's like um, uh, food containers to put some sprinkles, baking cups, chocolate syrup, things that we don't use very often. Then I have a cookbook here and some different recipes and then I have my plastic bags that I keep right in here. On this shelf, the only things that aren't from Dollar Tree is this big thing and that, but I've had these for years and years and years, but I know that you can get these pretty cheap at Walmart. So I put some of the penne pasta that we have and regular um, spaghetti and then this is one of Dollar Tree's jars 
And then these are also from Dollar Tree. My daughter loves bow tie pasta, so I have the smaller one, and then I have this bigger one with some brown rice. Back here is a little teapot that just has sentimental value, so I kept it right there. And then just some alcohol. I use this big mason jar that I just keep clothespins in, so if I need to, you know, close up a bag of chips or something like that, they're just easily accessible right there. This is the last of my plastic straws, and then I'm going to try to never buy plastic straws again. Stick with only paper or, you know, reusable ones. Okay, making our way down. Oh my gosh, it makes me so excited. Woo! Okay, so for this drawer, I decided to keep my oils up here and I put them in these little glass jar, I don't know glass things that are from Dollar Tree and I just added some labels to the front of them and you know these labels are from Dollar Tree as well so when I rinse these out when I need to if they come off I'll just make a new one. I also used this little can holder organizer thing that is from Dollar Tree to set these in so they're kind of like you know they're not too wobbly right there. This little jar I decided to put chocolate chips in. The only time we use chocolate chips is when I make my daughter chocolate chip pancakes. So it's right next to the pancake mix and I used these same um, little jars for you know cornstarch, flour, brown sugar, and then use little Dollar Tree labels. I always wanted to have little labels on things and I've never done it before. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. In the back, I just have two of these little organization bins. These are extra like taco sauces and little marinades and stuff like that. Then I have some extra condiment stuff back there. And then I'm using another one of those Oh, I didn't take the tag off of that. Oh, yes I did, but I just did a crap job of it. <laughs> Let's ignore that. But this is where I have all of my different hot sauces. So this little can organizer is actually perfect for keeping all my hot sauces together. Okay, for the next drawer, this is quite a bare drawer, which kind of feels good. But you would think I'd use the can organizers for my actual cans, but I actually prefer to be able to pull it out and see my cans. It just works with me and this space. So obviously I used these little organizers to have them. I've got the mix of the teal and the purple going on because that's what I had and I'm just making it work but obviously you could do all of yours in one color. I wish Dollar Tree carried these in white or you could just order online exactly what you need in exactly what color but that's proven to be quite impossible to figure out so I'm keeping it, you know, a little colorful. This is actually where I'm going to keep my onions, but I just need to go to the grocery store. So that is what I'm intending for this little spot. And then this is just like a little extra, you know, it's extra. Okay, this next row, again, I'm using the little can organizers. I think they're great. These we keep on hand because my daughter loves these. We don't like her to eat very often, but it's nice to have on hand in a pinch if you need it. And then I just had an extra one of these, so I threw it in there and we'll see what I use it for. But at this point, it's just in there. I like this big bin for like the croutons and the bread because it can get quite bulky, so it keeps it in there very well. And then this is like our nut area. I may expand this and put this over here and then do a bigger one because we tend to eat a lot of nuts. These little baskets just keep everything nice and organized together. And then this is kind of like my daughter's little treat area. So we've got a bigger one of these purple bins in the back that I'm using to house the chips. In this front we have one of these taller um, little bins. These are her favorite little nutrition bars. They're not that nutritious, but they're better than, you know, just a chocolate bar. So that's where we're keeping those. Her squeezies I just have in these plastic containers. They fit perfect. I think that these plastic containers were actually near the makeup area. That's the only one that wasn't in the actual container area. So I'm using those for her squeezies. Then we, I have another one for popcorn and then another one for like the chocolate area. Then I have these containers. I have some goldfish in this one, and then this is my husband's guilty pleasure, Muddy Buddies. Does anyone else love a Muddy Buddy? My husband's obsessed with them. And then these two little storage containers, or they call them lunch towers, I think. I just went ahead and put some goldfish in to be ready for my daughter's lunch tomorrow. And I love that you can fill the other side up. I haven't decided what I'm going to put on the other side yet. These fit perfect right here, and they're halfway ready for her lunch. Someone's sleepy. And this is what I did. This is like our pet area. I'm keeping their treats in these big jars that I got a long time ago, I think from Target, and they weren't that expensive, but they could definitely use a cleaning. That's on my list next to clean. And then I took this white bowl 
and I thought it would be perfect to put their leashes, extra collars, stuff like that. And I'm using another one of these little baskets for their little deodorizers, and then this bigger basket for brushes, and these are Alan Bear's extra toys and some of his bandanas. So I think, ah, ah, get back. I'm feeling good about it. Feeling good, feeling good, feeling good. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and maybe got some ideas or inspiration for your own pantry organization. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more fun videos from me, maybe, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.